is that, like, you could have something in your life that, like, is beautiful to you, or you could see in your own lens, you know, you can, you're with yourself more than anybody else, pretty much, for the most part, like, um, like, so there's beauty you could see in something, and if the world sees something about you as negative, then, like, the, like, as time goes on and more and more people keep looking at an aspect of you and seeing it as negative, then eventually that weight is gonna, like, like, it's, it's gonna affect your perception. And kind of on that topic, like, there's aspects of yourself that could be beautiful that, like, for some reason people just don't see. There could be, like, a way that you see things, uh, an ability that you have, or, or good ideas or something, and it might just be that people don't see it for some reason, but... And it might be that it's just not your time to shine in those aspects, or... But it doesn't mean that they're, like, they ju the, there just isn't, like, an opening in the, in your current environment or time or something. Like, it might be, like, a kind of spiritual thing that, like, it's just not received. Because there's people that, like, are heard, are in charge, that, like, aren't the most brilliant, like, just... Like, they have that position, but, like, there are people that would be better in charge, you would think. But as things have unfolded, they end up in, like, they're the most heard, or they're they're in charge, or, you know, there's some people that are in charge that are, like, okay, they're, like, they're good. But there's some people that just kind of end up, like, there's, in the past, have there not, I mean, I didn't live in the past, but, like, are there not kings that are just, like, malicious or just not like sensible like and like ruling by fear is something like you know maybe you get certain respect because you are a fear like a being to be feared or something so there's something to that but like there's some people in the history and the present that get to like these levels and that's just maybe how things are supposed to be and like there's people that have just like something within them that like is a gem or something and it isn't heard and it isn't valued and it might just because it's not your time or you just <clears throat> but um but another so but I've said all that <laughs> um but like another thing besides the masturbation thing that is like a learning to be reaped from this journey um of the past few years and the last couple of years within like I haven't like I've mostly been staying with like people like there's this year there's a family that I connected with that is actually and even different stuff has happened like in this place that it's been they've had their own journey um, there's people that have moved in and out, there's bonds that have had situations, but this year there is a couple that I moved in, or not moved in, but like I come here regularly, and December 2020, there was um, a family that I got close to, and that was the first family in this journey that I, I don't even know if I can say if I'm, that I'm like in this journey anymore, because it's not, the first however many months in 2020, like, maybe half a year, I don't know, is when, like, it averaged to, like, one out of every three days I was staying with someone, but, like, so even then, like, still, it was one out of every three days, but come December 2020, like, that's when I met a family, um, that I connected with and has, like, particularly the women in the family and, like, I guess, actually, at this point, I guess, like, there's this, the, the woman in the family is, like, the main connection, but, 
like the the boyfriend we've been through stuff like the kids um one of them i feel like doesn't like me the other one but but used to like one of them i feel like doesn't like me anymore but she says things are fine essentially so i don't know but something is lost there but at the same time that's a bond that needs to be upheld in a way um one of the other siblings died and that's why I wear this. And then the eldest sibling I've come to I've come to have a bond with. It's a bond there is a bond and then it was kinda of lost and then I've come to have a I've come to like have a bond with um that elder sibling. But anyway, um and then October twenty twenty I had like a month of healing where I stayed with a friend for like a month, so like the last like two years like there's been elements of like being outside and stuff but like and like these days i'm hardly ever like i did i think i did like I, yeah i guess i slept like i slept outside on like s saturday night or something or sunday morning but i like hardly sleep outside because i feel i feel like like spiritually or something like i'm not supposed to these like these days these last weeks or something anyway um but besides the whole masturbation thing a second learning is that like i can see that like there like there's there's certain it's been a difficult journey like the sleeping outside aspect and more than that too like i don't know if it's more it might be more so in the sleeping outside aspect or the nature aspect that was the hard aspect but I, there's kind of there's also the social aspect, whatever it is, where, however it cuts down to, this is, this is a journey that's had difficulty in it, like, it's, there's been struggle, uh, maybe especially in the initial days, um, but there's been beauty, and, but the way people perceive me, they can't, they don't see that, and I'm also not of the character that I, like, I can just, I easily say like, oh no, this, 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 like, so I can see how like, I like, I can see how like, if you see beauty in something, it like, it matters, but like, it doesn't matter as far as like, if other, if the world sees it a certain way, eventually, like that weight is just going to come into you. And then, furthermore, I think I could say, ironically, that's like a self-fulfilling thing, because then you might start to carry a sadness, and then people might look at that, and then view it a certain way, but people looking at you a certain way is kind of what could have affected or made it that in the first place. Or even if you weren't living that way, you still could be sad about something. Anyway, like... But point being that, like, so I so I can now equ equate this to, like, so, like, if you're LGBTQ or if you're black or if you're a woman and maybe people only see you for beauty and you want to be seen for, like, your brains or your athletic ability or whatever, like, whatever it is, like, if people see you a certain way, eventually that's going to seep onto you or, like, come into you, even if you can see beauty in your own lens or know a certain truth about yourself or something like people's lens are gonna weigh on you so that's that's something that i've learned and i and i don't know that i know how to like readily apply it or something like i'm still gonna like feel out of sorts with like lgbtq people to that's like that's weird to me not my world da 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 um, I'm still, like, if I see someone who's, like, ha maybe, I don't know, like, has certain kinds of tattoos or, or certain, like, gauges, there, there's some type of, like, ways that a person can look that also throw me off. Um, if I see, like, like a, I don't know if it's female to male or male to female transgender person, there's a type of transgender person that looks, like, really weird, like, that's still gonna look, like, there's things that are going to look a certain way to me, but 
at least I like know in a way the reality of that like even if someone sees beauty in their own path, if other people don't, like that weighs on them or it take like I know I've I've experienced that so I can I've experienced this, how there's beauty in my path and like it's not validated is so like with other people I can like under like I could I don't know if I'll always be able to be mindful of that, but like I can kind of Yeah. Like, it's not something that, like, every situation that I see someone that is just automatically going to come to mind, I'm just going to be on point with that, but I at least have, like, the stirrings of beginnings of that. Like, I I have experience. There's potential with that, I guess. Um, and then, conversely, like, if the world thinks highly of something, that will also, that could also be a huge... um strength towards you the world could be affirming something that's negative and that'll hype you towards that thing maybe or it could be hyping you towards something that should just kind of be neutral but like whatever the world hypes or looks weirdly at is going to be a huge force potentially so that's that's another learning from this journey that is big. And like... Yeah. And there's, there's meaningful um, connections or experiences. There's meaningful experiences that have happened in some of the people I've stayed with maybe more so earlier on in this journey with the uh, averaging one out of every three days that I ended up staying with someone. But the two families or like the couple and then the family that I've, that I bonded with or that I would stay regularly with are special experiences or bonds or connections that are special as far as Bots that I've experienced. Um, both in both connections, like there's been ups and downs, there's been issues, there's been, but there's, um, special bonds or, or like special, not without struggle, but there's special bonds found. So, and, uh, and it's interesting cause like God or spirituality comes into this, these connections, I think, um, even, even like, anyway. God comes into some different things, but like, so this, this fan says Hunter Hunter. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, okay. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can see. It says Hunter Hunter, and the anime that I was watching here is Hunter Hunter. But I don't know how to like connect <laughs> my thoughts on stuff. Like when I was talking about how like God is connected to this journey or something. Like there's different stuff that God is connected to, and I, my brain's just kind of. But, um, it's interesting because, like, the first family that I 
started bonding with in December 2020, their room number was 205. This connection, their room number is 206, so it's like one up. I guess I, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully some of what I said made sense. But yeah, th those might be the three most prominent um, blessings of this journey. Well, I suppose there's another. Maybe more than just one other. I don't know. But those are three, like, strong ones. The master, the beating master, masturbation, the pornography thing. Being able to see, like, how, like, let's say someone's gay or someone's um, transgender or something and they have, or black or a woman, like... There's something beautiful that they can see in their journey, but if the world just keeps looking negatively at it, that weight will eventually, like, affect them. A person is only so strong, you know. Sometimes we start surprise ourselves in strength and are able to do more than we thought we could, but, like, if everyone keeps looking you at a certain way, even if it's something you can see beauty in, like, eventually it's people's lenses are going to start affecting you. Um, and then also the special bonds that have been found. Like, I know a lot of people. I'm I'm known for knowing a lot of people. I'm probably known for other things at this point in my life, too. Um, good and bad. I think. Potentially some bad or some negative ones, too. Um, in relation to this journey or otherwise. Um, but... Like, these two... Like... If I, if, if I, if I wasn't living the way I do and I didn't, and, it, and I didn't, I wasn't bonded to them, if, if I didn't, if, like, if I was, like, roommates with them, or if I, like, was just friends with them, and, like, the, these, this, like, this, the way these bonds are or came to be, like, is kind of via how I'm living or how my living relationship with them is. And it's like, the bonds are special. But yeah, like even how the room numbers are like 205 and 206, um, Just, beyond this journey, just, like, in this journey, out of this journey, like, just, there's different things that, like, God has his hand in. Um, with the Fargo Invaders, there, I mean, there's God in that journey, and Fargo Invaders and or Mindak Titan stuff. There's God in that. There's, you, you know, you notice the 205, 206 thing, that Hunter Hunters on their fan thing, and, like, that was the anime that I watched here. Um, like even like Jupiter dying like I didn't know that was gonna happen but like what like what that how that ends up like that was probably meant to be or like or like God knew that was gonna happen or something like ended my original channel some weeks ago because of, like, spiritual, like, guidance towards that, and that's a channel that, like, I've wanted to stop at different times, but I end up just keep going, and, you know, now that the channel's dead, essentially, like, you know, I guess it's good that I kept going, because, you know, I came to the different contents that I did, um, like, I thought, and then when I thought I was supposed to be done, that it was, like, kind of spiritual inclination to start this channel, or, I mean, this channel has been started actually in the past. Like, there's, like, four videos already on this. 
um, or something like that. One I put in like some months ago, I think, and then two or three were like from farther into the past. But like, so I thought I was supposed to be done and then I could kind of see benefits of not having a channel and like having to put that energy towards social stuff or elsewhere or something. Like I could see benefit benefits to not having a channel, but then like it felt like I was supposed to continue. So God's in that with the stopping of the old channel, with the continuing or starting of this one, like God's in stuff. 